when I first heard about WorkSharp, I didn't realize it was more than just a grinder. You pretty much make whatever tools you have brand new, and it's very easy to do it. It really takes the guesswork out of sharpening, especially my beat-up old chisels. Dang, he sharpened everything in about an hour. He had everything in the shop sharp, and it looked like new. So the thing works. My name's Lindsay Hare. I'm owner of American Craftsmen and Refinishers. We restore old wooden boats. We go into churches, restore churches. We're restoring antiques. When you're working on a three, 400 year old piece, you've got to have it so sharp so you can go in and clean a corner out or move it around something. It's so straightforward and easy to be able to sharpen something. I can line up eight to 10 chisels and have them done and ready to go. Wow, that's just, Extremely sharp. You can sharpen anything that that can fit on that wheel. And I had already purchased a drill doctor before, and I was pleased with how that worked for my drills. And nothing works better than a sharp tool. It's one of the one of the easiest tools I've worked with as far as doing something that's important for skill to get it right, perfect. Just after a couple of minutes working on it, it's really an impressive working edge. On the grinder, it just gets too hot. It, and, it, and the edge gets blue, and then it just bends over. It's no good. But with the work sharp, it doesn't. It just doesn't get hot, and it just stays sharp. Well, the looking down through is, is incredible. You're actually seeing the fine edge as you're, it's wearing away. When you have a working shop where you have to make money, you can't afford to have a tool that doesn't work. A sharp tool does the job for you with minimal effort. We do have a guy in the shop that can get on a grinder, and he can put a fairly good edge on them. But, uh, you know, it's just, uh, they're just never the same. Had one given to us to try, bang, he sharpened everything in about an hour. He had everything in the shop sharp, and it looked like new. If it took him three or four hours to sharpen his tools, I'd say, okay, at the hour, hourly rate he's costing me, throw him away. But in five minutes, you can have everything sharpened right back up and be right back into business, and it's like buying a new set. If I would touch that, that wheel that, on my grinder, huh. I have skin gone on this, nothing. It just works so nice. It didn't heat anything up, and my grinder throws sparks and superheats things. I was actually uh, really surprised. It stays cool, it doesn't get hot. My edger was not edging very well. It was actually ripping. It was really easy to just, actually I didn't have to even take them off. I brought it up here and reestablished the edges on it, so now it's a nice sharp edger again. Every once in a while you run across the problem, this is a track for a bifold door. The track would not fit the opening. It was only a 32nd inch too long, and there's no way you can do that cutting with a hacksaw. With the work sharp, I was able to take it into the bathroom area, and I could grind on the piece, check it, or go right back and touch it up a little more. And so I actually put the piece like this on the grinder. The piece didn't get hot. The existing paint wasn't discolored. Then I could do a little grinding and check it to see if it would fit in the doorway. That's just amazing to me that I'm hitting a grinder and it doesn't even, it doesn't hurt my hand at all. It would be a lot safer to use this rather than my grinder. On a grinder, you don't have the, the agility to be able to hold it and see. You can really screw tools up real quickly that way. The sharper the tool, the safer the tool. A sharp tool does the job for you with minimal effort. My dad. He installed the thing in me that if you're going to do a job, you're going to do it right or don't do it. And that's what you can do at the workshop. You can do it right. I mean, maybe 15 minutes. I took every tool I could think of and cleaned them up and sharpened them up. The machete's very long, and so I like that it's really fast to sharpen something so long on both sides. And it is sharpened on both sides. Uh, we've had a stunt company for the last 17 years based in Los Angeles, and then also we have a bungee operation based up in Oregon and Washington. We're uh, standing above Canyon Creek, 191 feet down to the water. Go! Up to this time, the two different ways that I sharpen tools are either with a, uh, a sharpening stone or using a grinder. And with a grinder, I can do it, but I very rarely get the edge that I want. But with the work sharps, I found something that works faster and gives me a great edge. If I have Another one of the work sharps that I take with me when we travel so we can sharpen our tools because you'll be down in the field and hit a rock or hit a piece of metal or something and you'll dull your blade. And it's just a lot easier and faster to sharpen it up and keep going. This stuff, when it's ground, it gets red hot. I was actually uh, really surprised. It stays cool, it doesn't get hot. I don't think I could ever get it red hot on this grinder.
I was building uh, for my son these spools for his porch. There were four by fours and I had to cut them down. I was using this and every time I did one, it'd get dull and I was having a heck of a time. I couldn't sharpen it on the grinder because I was taking chunks out. I made 22 of them. The first one with that took me 22 hours to make one. The next after this, half hour, just having sharp tools. My name is Phil Sylvester. I make what are called art guitars. Often what I'll do is draw these shapes out on the surface of the wood and then cut in with a chisel. I'm a woodworker, but I'm not a master sharpener, and I don't want to spend hours and hours working on sharpening. Uh, so a power tool like this just saves me huge amounts of time. A lot of the guitars will have a, a neck that is screwed into the body, and the screws have to be uh, at a very exact length. So I have to cut them down, then I have to rebevel them, and that's a sort of side payoff from this tool. Uh, from a safety point of view, using dull tools is, is a, a fool's errand. A sharp tool, a good tool, is a more effective tool. The sharper the tool, the safer the tool. You always use sharp tools. A sharp tool will not hurt you near as bad as a dull one.